No, nah, it, it was a good effort. I thought, you know, the last two weeks have been certainly attitude, effort, commitment to, to the cause has been great. But, um, you know, certainly can't fault them in those areas. And uh, the game was there to be won. And, um, you know, we, yeah, I thought, I thought we were the better team today, to be honest, and just couldn't get away with it in the end. Yeah, you could say that. Um, you know, that's what I said to them then. You know, it will change. And if you keep turning up to training like they have been and keep, keep committing to each other and play with that commitment and attitude, we'll win. And it's not far away. You know, and, and last week, pretty similar situation. Um, as a team and individually, we've, we've got to take some lessons from it, though. It's all right to sit here and say, yeah, we, we tried hard, but we're still making too many individual errors in yardage. And we, we let in probably 12 points today that I don't think they earned through just one-on-one -on -one missed tackles close to the try line. And at this level, you can't do it. And, you know, we, we've got some young players in the side and it's a lesson. We'll be better for it. I'll be better for it. But um, for us to, to knock over those tight games, we would have cut that out of our game. Yeah, definitely. You know, and they're still shattered that they've lost, but there's encouraging signs there. So that's the the biggest plus we can take out of it. You know, if we can keep turning up like that, we still have to improve in different things. Um, you know, attack will find its groove there with with the spine that we've got. I thought it worked, you know, pretty well tonight, and um, put ourselves in a in a position to win. So. Radley, yeah, that unbelievable. It was a terrific tackle, and he's a good player. That kid. <laughs> yeah, I thought. I, I don't know if I'm allowed to say anything, but I thought it was a um, a rough one. But you know, you get them occasionally. But um, as as Dean said before, we're not getting those at the moment. Um, we will, we will, and. Every club goes through it. It's our turn at the moment, and we just got to stick stick solid and get through it. Yeah, I think so. We've had a lot of close games against the Roosters, and we've I just keep telling the boys to, to be prepared to win it in the 80th minute, and they were. Uh, we've we've um, had some really good contests against them, so today was no different. But that try was that certainly give them a huge boost to tackle from from Radley and. Um, we were, yeah, we we're, were probably well on our way to putting ourselves in front there. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, Dale. Oh, I spoke to Arch about that the other day. Actually, there's a, a fair few of them creeping into the game again. I'm certainly not having a crack at the Roosters here, but um, they're da they are dangerous, you know, and I, I don't want to see. And not sitting in here to whinge or anything, but they're they're a dangerous tackle. And if we we had a lost Walker there, or if we do with a with a knee injury, he hyperextended his knee pretty bad. It's not a, it's it's just a dangerous tackle. And there is more and more of them creeping in. And I think across the game, I, I it's a it's an awful one. He'll get checked out. He should be all right. He he finished the game, but um, it's da they're dangerous. You know, you've got two blokes up there and getting hit from behind and sideways. And it's happening in, across the game. It's not just today. Charlie, what do you think of the game that came from Dylan and Yeah, it wasn't too bad, mate. Um, certainly um, a vast improvement on 2016. Oh, look, yeah, if you want to blame the loss on that, go for it. But... Two points is two points, and that one slipped away from us, didn't it? How frustrating is it, Charlie? Is the main four performance Yeah, it's, it's, look, it's, we're just in, in a really tough situation. Um, I think the reflection of the score lines the last two weeks is how committed we are to playing for the club and for each other. And certainly, if we can continue to train well, as Baz has alluded to and we can continue to put on performances like that, we are going to get 
ourselves in a situation when we come up with that win and we only need one and the whole momentum of our season changes. Yeah, it's tough. I guess um, as a captain, extra responsibility falls on your shoulders. So certainly, um, again, as a halfback, taking losses, you always take those a bit more personally as well. So um, certainly trying to continue to work hard at training and keep the boys together, which we certainly are, and have to commend the playing group for the way that we stuck together and been able to commit to our game plans and you know stay tight around training. And off the back of that, as I said, I've got no doubt we're going to come up with a win soon. And once we do... It's going to completely change our, our season. It will turn it on its head, I've got no doubt. Can you just quickly ask about Thomas Ward? He's been probably out a bit, bit of an unhappy day, but yep. obviously up against James, just what, what did you think of him? Yeah, look, I, I thought Turbo had some, some brilliant touches, as he always does, but again, come up with a couple of errors at crucial times that we've just got to get out of our game across the board, certainly not just Tom. You know, and he's the first to be in there. He'll be in there tomorrow watching his video and, and looking to improve. You know, he's young, um, but it's no excuse for us at this level. We've we've got to cut them out. Um, he hurts as as much as anyone, but um, um, you know, it's 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 a learning curve for him. He's still in the infancy, I suppose, of his first grade career, and he's going to play a hell of a lot of rep football down the track, um, and he'll do a good job if he's chosen, but. Uh, there's some things that we all need to tidy up across the board.